Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to the channel. If you've not been here before, please do not forget to subscribe before you leave. My name is Neil and today we're checking out the Blackstar ID Core V3 40 watt combo. I turned the amp on, I went straight to OD2 because that's my favourite Blackstar channel, that's the one for the tight metal, you know the metal core stuff with all the gain. I turned it on and it was just there, like the metal tone was just there, it was like instant metal tone there straight away. <laughs> So if you're that type of guitarist that wants a minimal fuss modeling combo for home use that has loads of effects on it and everything that you need all in one place and you don't want to be sat there faffing around trying to dial in trebles and basses and you just want to turn it on and bump, there is your tone, then this is probably the amp for you. Price-wise, this amp is very, very competitive with other amps that you would consider, I guess, the competition. I will put on the screen now the price of the amp at Anderton's Music. If you go down there below in the description, there's, a Anderton's, there's an Anderton's link. If you follow that link and go through it and buy anything at all, it contributes towards the channel at this end. Just want to say a huge thanks to all the guys that have used that link already. I'm going to run through the specs of this amp and there is a massive spec sheet on this amp, okay? Black Star Amplification are really pushing the stereo thing about this amp, okay? It's written all over the box, it's all over the top panel there. They really want you to know this is stereo, and believe me, it really is stereo. Like, when I plugged it in, I started using the reverbs and delays, there were sounds bouncing off all over the place in this room. I felt like, in this corner, particularly when I was using it, there was like a ping pong effect, you know, coming out of this corner and over there. So it is a super wide stereo, combo and it will fill your room and to be honest when you're playing leads it does feel like you're in heaven you know because of all the ping pong um, stereo effects going on that fill the room <laughs> I'm not massively familiar with stereo rigs if I'm honest, but I am thoroughly enjoying this amp and the widespread stereo sound that it produces. It really is lots of fun when you get the delays and reverbs on and things are bouncing around the room. There are six voices on this amp. OD2, which is tight, super tight, metal. OD1 that is a bit looser, a bit sludgier, a bit more filthy. Uh, there is Super Crunch, which is a really tight, high gain style crunch channel. There is Crunch, which is obviously just, as it says, you know, it's a, a standard Black Star Crunch channel. There is a warm clean and a bright clean as well. So you've got plenty to go up there tone-wise. Now, there is no bass, middle and treble on this amplifier. They have incorporated the ISF, which is on a lot of Black Star amps, and they have used it so you can dial in and tweak your tone just using the ISF. Personally, I think this is where the ISF excels. I don't think you need all the other controls if you've got an ISF on there. It gets a bit too complicated for me. This is the first amp I've ever used with just the ISF on and it works great. 
and I really prefer the ISF used in this way, like it is on this amp, than in conjunction with trebles, middles, basses. It really is a simple amp, you turn it on, it sounds great, and all you have to do is tweak, basically, what kind of uh, mid scoop, you know, mid frequencies you want on the amp. To the left, it's scooped and it gets quite fizzy. To the right, there's a lot of mids and they get darker the further you get around the dial. But really, I do like the ISF on this amp. It really suits this amp more than any other Blackstar amp that I've tried. Effects-wise, there are four delays, four modulation effects, and four reverb effects. Like I've said, it's super wide stereo, so it does sound absolutely great once you get those effects on there. You can save six patches on this amp as well, six tones of your very own that you can switch between. The 40 watt version which I've got today is foot switchable compatible. It's compatible with a foot switch. This amp has a headphone now and a cab rig simulator on there. I love the cab rig software stuff, it is absolutely great. On here it's cab rig light, it's not the full version what you get with the more expensive Blackstar stuff. It works really well with a direct out, sounds really good and we will be looking at that further on in this video. This amp has lining streaming. I'm not quite sure what that means yet, but I'm thinking that you can go from your phone into this amp and you can stream a video live out there on your TikTok or whatever social media. There's a built-in tuner, there's a USB out so you can use this as a recording interface straight into your Mac or your PC. The two speakers in here are Blackstar 6.5 inch speakers. I get concerned when a speaker is not 12 inch in any amp, but I have to say that this amp fills the room it fills the room really well. The weight of this amplifier is 6.2 kilos. It's very light and it's no trouble at all. There's that carrying handle around the back. You can carry it in one hand, no problems. Right guys, so let's check out OD2 and the super tight metal tones that are going on in there. I'm gonna be using my Schecter Diamond Series Solo 2 Evil Twin in this demo with Fishman Fluence Modern Pickups. It's going straight into the amp and I will be using this guitar throughout the demo. <laughs> Right guys, so now we're gonna check out the looser OD, which is OD1. It's a bit filthier, a bit looser. <laughs> Right guys, so let's check out the Super Crunch channel on this thing. The Super Crunch channel is really good. It's a really high gain crunch, in my opinion. I really like it a lot. Would suit the old school thrashers or the old school rockers that I used to put in overdrives in front of high gain amps. <laughs> Thank you. 
Right guys, so now let's check out the regular crunch channel, which is a standard Black Star old school style crunch. <laughs> First of all, we're going to check out the brighter clean channel on this amp. Right guys, so now let's check out this super wide stereo ping pong delay effect that bounces around the room. The problem with this is that I'm using a Shure SM57 in front of this amp and I don't know whether that is going to pick up the, what I'm hearing in the room. But what I'm hearing in the room is it just bounces around the room and it sounds like it's coming from the corner over there. You know, when the delay comes on particularly, it sounds like it's, it's ping ponging back at you from over in that corner and then will transfer to the other corner of the room. It really is nice. I really am enjoying using it. I don't know how it will come off, uh, come across in the demo with just a single mic in front. I hope it will come off okay. Ideally, I should have used maybe two mics, one in front of one speaker and one in front of the other to pick up this effect fully for you guys who are listening on headphones at home. <laughs> Right guys, so what did you think of this amp? I will be doing some more videos of this amp because I do love it a lot and there's a hell of a lot more to cover on it. I want to know what you guys think of it down there below in the comments. In my opinion, 
This amp is competing against a Boss Katana and a Line 6 Spider 2005 million, whichever number they're on right now. And I believe this amp, its price point is lower and I can't see, it, it, it doesn't do anything less than the other amps and I can't see the other amps sounding any better really because it really does sound fantastic. Like I said, this amp suits guys that just want to turn it on and want their go to tones there without too much fuss, too much faffing about. Guys that want to just sit down at home and just want to get on with the playing rather than all the tone uh, tweaking and things like that. Let me know what you think of this amplifier. Let me know what you think of this demo. Do not forget to subscribe before you leave. If you want to buy anything on this channel that you've seen before or anything at all, go down there below in the Anderton's affiliate link. Check that out. Buy anything at all through, through that link on the Anderton's store. It helps support the channel. Also, please check out the Sonic Cake affiliate link too. The Sonic Cake do some really good affordable pedals. And if you buy anything through that link again, it helps support the channel. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Tons more to come on this amplifier. I'll see you all soon.